the ACAS service will send alert messages to the position reporting and communication devices, text message phone numbers, and email addresses when adverse conditions arise along your planned route of flight. ACAS alerts may be customized to the type of adverse condition, time parameters surrounding the concerned flight, and altitude proximity to the route of flight. To register for ACAS alerts, first select the products you wish to receive alerts for. The listing of products displays all applicable adverse conditions that may affect your route of flight. Select one or as many conditions that you wish to be alerted to. Once condition types are selected, the selection below allows time parameters to be selected around which the alerts will be sent. In the first entry box, enter the amount of minutes prior to your estimated departure time you would like to start receiving alerts. Next, you may select if you wish to not receive alerts for conditions more than 4,000 feet above your filed altitude or for conditions that begin two hours or more beyond calculated arrival time. Finally, you may also enter, in minutes, the time prior to estimated departure time that the ACAS service will send a confirmation of no adverse conditions before your flight, if applicable. Finally, to transmit the messages, you may select from all eligible communication methods stored in your user account contacts by selecting the Add from My Devices and Contacts button. From this list, select the type or types of communication methods you wish to have alerts sent to, followed by OK. Also, you may store new contact information by selecting their individual button. Lightest Flight Service will send text messages to the text message phone numbers you select below. Standard text message rates may apply. Text HELP to FLTSVC for help. Text STOP to FLTSVC to cancel. Next, select the type of alerts, pre-flight or in-flight, you wish to receive. To remove an alerting method, select Remove. And to send a test message to ensure proper setup, select Test Message. Alerts will begin sending according to your settings above, prior to the estimated departure time, and will send through flight plan closure for VFR flight plans or until estimated departure time for IFR flight plans. In-flight alerts are intended to be sent after flight plan activation, and delivery methods of email and text message may not be reliable while in flight. Preferably, messages should be sent via Iridium satellite device if equipped. See the device information link for more information on Iridium or satellite tracking devices. Once all products, time parameters, and communication methods have been selected, click OK. A green outline indicator around ACAS indicates successful registration. You are now registered for the Adverse Condition Alerting Service.